Everything in your life is an expression of your creativity. And ask yourself, are you fully expressing your creativity in life? Or are you judging your creativity, blocking your communication, not speaking your truth? Because if you're not, it means you've got to work on your throat chakra. The throat chakra is the birthplace of magic. It allows you to reach out with your words, with your intentions, and project them out into the universe and call things to you, to structure reality, to influence people. See, most of our bodies are water. And if you've ever seen the studies done by Dr. Emoto from Japan, you'll know that water responds to the waves of sound and consciousness that affect it. And whatever we communicate affects that water. So on one hand, you can communicate to other people and realize you're affecting them. You're using your voice like a tuning fork, just like I'm affecting you right now, hopefully in a good way. The same is said for our communication within ourselves. You're talking to yourself all the time, whether you think you are or not. You've got that little voice that's thinking thoughts as you go about your day. You have power over that voice, and you can decide what thoughts it's going to think and what it's going to tell you. All of that is up to you. So you probably want to tell yourself something nurturing and fun and good, and that's going to actually really make you feel good in life, and not something that distracts you or makes you feel weak or judges you. This is what we call your inner communication. So the first step to healing your throat chakra is developing a supportive inner dialogue that nurtures and takes care of you, doesn't knock you down. And this can be challenging. If you've got those negative voices, which we all have sometimes, it takes practice and effort to rewire them. This is where techniques and tools like affirmations, and mantras are very useful. And in the floral class, I'm going to be teaching you how to use these to silence those voices of inner doubt and bring you more fully into the confidence and the self-love that you want to have. The throat chakra is predominant among individuals who are making a living by expressing themselves. So musicians, artists, authors, even politicians who can communicate with power and with emotion and with passion and who can captivate an audience and just bring people into their spell. You see, words are literally like spells and they have such a power to influence and captivate the human mind that the throat chakra is that center of power for you. So when you think of these individuals who are making a living on their communication abilities, it tells you that this is something you can use in your life to either boost your sales or increase your output or be able to do something really impactful. Developing a writing practice is really helpful. I'm going to be talking more about that in the full course. And even starting to get in front of camera and shoot video can be a very interesting experience because you see yourself reflected back to yourself and you can begin to see where your communication challenges lie. And bit by bit, you can unlock that to fully communicate your truth. So we've talked a little bit about the throat chakra. I want to give you a couple other examples of people who are way blown open in their throat chakra and people who are closed down. People who are blown open are babbling all the time. They're rambling on. They'll never shut up. It's like, dude, you've been talking for the last five minutes. Have you no idea that we have things to say as well? But when people's throat chakra is blown open, that's how they are. They just don't know what they're doing. And they need to be told again and again until they realize they need to dial it in. On the other hand, a lot of people are blocked. Maybe they got judged for speaking when they were younger. Maybe they got told they were stupid. Maybe they got told that what they had to say wasn't valuable. And so these are people who just don't talk anymore. And it's really sad. But if you're one of those people who has that judgment of your own communication, it's time to step out and start speaking your truth. It's time to begin doing practices that allow you to find your authentic voice and express that voice in the world. And in the full course, I'm going to be going into methods for doing that. Next, we're going to explore the mysterious third eye chakra, which is the seat of your intuition, your critical thinking, so that you don't just believe everything you're told, and your perception of what reality and what the truth even is. It all happens up here.